Hello students, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now let's solve these two problems from chapter 16, Hibbler Dynamics. The first problem says that determine the angular velocity of the gear and the velocity of its center O at the instant shown. So we are given that uh, this cord is pulled with a velocity of 3 feet per second and this uh, rake is is having velocity towards the left uh, of magnitude equals to 4 feet per second so let's say that this point is point b which is in contact with this rake and let's say that this the rope is and is at contact with this point c so let's say that this is the velocity of c is 3 feet per second and the velocity of b is uh, 4 feet per second so the velocity of b is towards the left and the velocity of c is towards the right so we are asked to find uh, the angular velocity of the gear and the velocity of its center o and let's assume that the uh, velocity of the center o is towards the right so let's assume that this is towards the right as well so we will say that this is v o so v o is required and as we can see that uh, this point b is four feet per second and this is three feet per second so so the gear will revolve in a clockwise direction so we are required to find this omega as well so now we can write that vc is equal to velocity of b plus velocity of c relative to b and towards the right is the positive direction so now vc is towards the right so we will say this is plus three vb is towards the left so that is minus four and the velocity of c relative to b is always due to the angular velocity of the gear or the link so the velocity of c relative to b will be towards the right as well since we think that uh, this point c is revolving about the, that point b due to this omega so if so for the velocity of c relative to b we think that this point b is stationary and this point c is revolving due to that angular velocity about point b in a circular path and the radius of that path will be equal to this much distance so which will be equal to this radius from o to b which is 1.5 plus this radius which is 0 0.5 so we can say that the radius for the for the velocity of c relative to b this will be the radius uh, for the circle about which this uh, point c is revolving about that point b so we can say that the velocity of c the magnitude of the velocity of c relative to b will be equal to r omega and r will be from b to c so from b to c this will be from b to c and this will be 1.5 this 1.5 plus 0 0.75 so we can say this is 1.5 plus 0 0.75 omega is unknown and as we have assumed um, uh, sorry since this velocity of c relative to b is due to the omega so the velocity of c relative to b is always is also towards the right since the gear is revolving in this direction so that is in the positive velocity of c relative to b is in the positive x direction as well so we will say plus and that is 1.5 plus 0 0.75 into omega so from this we can find omega so we can say that 1.5 plus 0 0.75 omega is equal to 3 plus 4 or we can say omega is equal to 7 divided by 1.5 plus 0 0.75 so this is equal to 7 divided by 1.5 plus 0 0.75 this gives us 3.11 so omega the angular velocity of the gear is 3.11 radian per second so this is the omega of the gear and this is in the clockwise direction remember now we were asked to find the velocity of the center of this gear o v o so we can write that v o is equal to we can write v o in terms of v b we can write v o in terms of v c so let's say i write it in terms of uh, c so we can write that uh, velocity of c equals to velocity of o relative to c now velocity of we are assuming that velocity of o is towards the positive x so we will write v o and v c is in the positive x towards the right is the positive so v c is in the towards the right so we will say this is plus three and now the velocity of o relative to c 
so the velocity of o relative to c uh, is the velocity with which this point o is revolving about the eight point c in a circular path and the radius of that path will be this much which is 0 0.75 and the direction of velocity of o relative to c is always due to omega since omega is in this direction so the velocity of o relative to c will be towards the left we think that this uh, point o is revolving about that point c due to this omega so this means that this point o will revolve about that point c in this direction since the omega is in this direction so we can say that the velocity of o relative to c is towards the left so this is the velocity of o relative to c and the magnitude of the velocity of o relative to c will be equal to r o c or we can say r c o times omega so r c o this is r c o which is 0 0.75 so we can write it is 0 0.75 omega and omega is now known which is 3.11 so this is 0 0.75 into 3.11 and it is towards the left so here we will write that this is minus 0 0.75 into 3.11 so this will give us vo so vo is equal to 3 plus minus 0 0.75 into 3.11 so we get this VO equals to 0 0.668 and again since the units are in feet so this will be in feet per second. So since we have assumed that VO is towards the right we got the positive answer so this is towards the right. So VO has a magnitude of 0 0.668 and it is towards the right. Now in the second problem it is said that determine the velocity of point A on the rim of the gear at the instant shown. So this is point A, we are asked to find the velocity of this point A. So now since this gear is having the velocity, uh, angular velocity in the clockwise direction, so this means that this point A will have a velocity tangent to this circle and this that will be in, in this particular direction. So let me uh, draw that point A. So we will have the velocity of A in this direction. And if we join this point O with A, it is making 45 degree. This is given this is 45 degree. And let me erase this uh, velocity of O relative to C. So here we have that point O. And this, if, if I join this point O with A, it is making uh, 45 degree with the horizontal. So this is 45 degree. So for the velocity of A, we are going to use um, the relative velocity equation as a, a, as a vector form, right? So we can say that VA vector is equal to the velocity of B vector plus uh, the velocity of A relative to B vector. So now as we can see that VA is acting in this direction, so it will have two components. We will have VAx and VAy. VAx is in the positive x and we ay is in the positive y this is our positive x and y so we can say that we a x is in the positive i and we a y is in the positive j we b is in the negative x only it is in the horizontal direction so it is minus four so we can say minus four i and the velocity of a relative to b so we can always write the velocity of a relative to b is the omega uh, and as we can see that the omega is in this direction so if we curl our right hand finger so the thumb will uh, will point out towards the screen so this means that this is the clockwise so this is in the negative case so we will write that this is minus omega k cross the position vector of a relative to b so now r of a relative to b is the position vector from b to a so this will be the position vector from b to a and now we need to uh, write this position vector from a to b as a cartesian vector in its uh, i and j components so now if i draw a vertical line from from a like this and if i draw a vertical line here so we can draw that we can say that this is R of A relative to B X component and this one is from 
here to here this is the y component so this will be r of a b in the y and this is the r of a relative to b so now r of a relative to bx is this so this is equal to this and this is equal to 1.50 right so the radius of the outer circle is 1.50 so this is 1.50 so r a b x is 1.50 cos of 45 degree and similarly this r of a b y is equal to this length which is again 1.50 plus 1.50 sine of uh, 45 degrees so we can say that r of a b y is equal to 1.50 plus 1.50 sine of 45 degree so we can say that uh, r of a b x is 1.50 cos of 45 this is equal to 1.061 feet and similarly r of a b y is 1.5 plus 1.5 sine of 45 this is equal to 2.561 feet so now we can write that r of a relative to b is equal to now this component is in the negative x so this is in the negative i so we will write that minus 1.061 i and this is in the positive j direct so we'll write plus 2.561 j so this is the Cartesian vector representation of the position vector from B to A. So now we can write that this is V A X I plus V A Y J equals to minus 4 I. And we know omega magnitude, right? This is the omega magnitude. So we can write that this is plus minus 3.11 K cross product with minus 1.061 i plus 2.561 j so now we can write that v a x i plus v a y j is equal to minus 4 i and now we need to take the cross product of this with this so minus into minus is plus 3.11 into this and k cross i is j so we will write that plus 3.11 into 1.061 j and similarly this into this so minus into plus minus k into j is minus i so that will become plus so we can write that minus i uh, and this will be minus 3.11 into 2.561 so again we can write that v a x i plus v a y j equals to minus 4 i this will be plus 3.299 j and this will become plus i and 3.11 this is 7.965 i now comparing i with i and j with j so we can say that v a x is equal to minus 4 plus 7.965 and similarly v a y comparing the j term v a y is equal to this 3.299 so this means that v a y is 3.299 feet per second and this is equal to 3.965 feet per second and if you want to find the magnitude of the velocity of a so that will be equal to v a x square plus v a y square under the square root so this is equal to 3.965 square plus 3.299 square 5.158 feet per second the velocity of a and now if you want to find the the angle of velocity of a with the horizontal so we can say that um, this is velocity of a this is v a x and this is v a y this is the theta so we can say that tan theta is equal to v a y divided by v a x now v a y is um, 3.299 divided by v a x is 
3.965 taking 10 inverse will give us theta so this is equal to 40 degrees approximately so this is the theta which uh, the velocity of e is making with the horizontal so that is 40 degrees and its magnitude is 5.158 feet per second so this is how we can solve um, these two problems i hope um, this whole discussion will help you in solving such problems from hibbler dynamics let me know in the comments if this helps do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from hibbler dynamics chapter 16